On June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to iCool participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3x3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. The location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hi, my name is Barry Chan, and I'm a Bernie 5 student from Chachugang Primary School. The category that I am in is Cold Space Rescue Challenge, first step, U12. I have been interested in robotics since 2015, when I attended a space invention camp. Subsequently, I joined my school techno club as ECCA. Now, I'm a senior member in the techno club. The strategy that I use to win is by saving time to collect more points. The first problem I faced was when the robot continued to stop and pick up the color squares, even though it was full. This wasted a lot of time. I solved this problem by adding programs to tell the robot to ignore the color squares when full. The second problem I faced is even after I created a trap avoidance program, the robot still enter into the traps. This is because the robot sends the traps too late and resulted in me losing points. I realized that the edge of the trap has a different color code from the inside of the trap. I solved this problem by changing the color code of the trap avoidance program. From this competition, I learned that in robotics, failure is a step forward to success and we should never give up and try continuously till we succeed. Thank you and have a nice day. And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Blue Robot is depositing.
Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Looks like a close match. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. One minute left. Blue robot is depositing. Red Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations.